Hello everybody, how are you? I hope everybody's doing fine, I really do. I hope everybody's been having a great time in life. Mainly because, Jesus Christ, the bad decisions that our government, our country, our people, our friends, our neighbors are making. Damn. A little cool. Probably should cut off the truck. But I ain't going to. I want to stay cool. My bone, my, my muscles and my bones are a little sore. But I'm trying to uh, get some of this damn weight off of me. I've been at home. And quit smoking. Which, that's been a couple of years now help add a lot of this weight, but still, I'm going to get it off if I can, eventually, so, I'm trying to uh, increase the atmosphere, you know, down here is illegal to buy fireworks, It's a couple of loopholes in being able to buy the fireworks, but still, there's a loophole and people can buy fireworks that they want to have and what they call the good stuff, the mortar shots, and, you know, stuff like that. But you can get them here if you you promised to do this and you promised to do that and that for this and therefore that and you know basically if you live on a farm and you're just shooting them to get rid of uh, rodents in your yard uh, bad birds you know on and on and on It all depends on how you can buy and what you can buy and what you can. Which is all good and fine. I don't really care. Well, I sold fireworks in this city many years ago. And if it hadn't been for me, they would have never got here anyway, me and my dad. We were the first ones to sell fireworks in this city in over 15 years before that. Maybe 25 years. It was a long, it was a long time. They made fireworks pretty much all over the country illegal, except for North Carolina at one time uh, and Indiana. You know, in a few places and out around Texas, there was places that could still sell fireworks, but not like they sell them now. Georgia couldn't sell them, but Georgia's done got into the back into the what I call sparklers but you know the cone fountains that sparkles and stuff like that they've been back in for a few years too and I don't know whether or not they've got it where it's actually legal to sell the other stuff with you know the little trick phrase that makes it legal for the, us down here. I don't know if they got that up there or not. I do know there for a while, you could not buy nothing up there. You might buy sparklers and snaps, you know, and things you throw down on the ground and they pop. That don't use a lighter or no fuse or nothing like that. But anyway, we got one not too far from me that, um, Uh, they're a wholesale retail store as well. They sell wholesale and retail. And then they have a bunch of vendors that work for them out on the street. And they furnish all the license and this, that, and other. You know what I'm saying. Well, they're making money off of that too. Well, this is a store. And that store itself... We went in there two days ago 
and their stock is almost out. And they had eight tractor trailers, 43, not 43, 53 feet long. There were container trailers. Full. They had eight full trailers in their lot. And not counting what was already in the store. Okay? Shells and the warehouse. It's a pretty nice size store. Well, come to find out that um, when we went in there, they could have put everything that they had left on three rows of shells. They had three of the center ones were already empty. I mean, they had a couple of stragglers here and there, but all the good stuff was gone. Um, now, some people love bottle rockets, and they love Roman candles. I don't like bottle rockets. I never have. They suck most of the time. And it doesn't matter what size you get. You can get the great big ones and they still suck. Uh, the mortar shots are the best things and the mortar boxes where you buy one that's got 30 shots in it or whatever. Okay. And they put off a pretty display in the sky and they make a pretty good, you know, burst and colors and kids love them. Well, most of that stuff was already gone, but they had a ton. They really did. They had a whole row, a whole shelf full of an assortment of Roman candles that were just off the wall. I wish they quit making the Roman candle, and I wish they would also quit making the these particular bottle rockets that I'm talking about. Uh, now, you do get a good batch every once in a while, and they will fly up in the sky, and they will burst, and they look like a mortar. But very seldom, and them are very big, and they're very expensive as well. They kind of shoot from the ground like a mortar. I mean, they kind of like that. But I don't like most of you little bottle rockets because they're dangerous. I'm not trying to get nothing illegalized or none of that stuff. I'm just telling you what I know to be dangerous. I'll tell you another one that's dangerous. But they're not dangerous if you put them on the ground. What I'm talking about is, you know the cone, you know the one that's shaped like this? You know, shaped like that. And you light it at the top, and it just a little sparkler. Well, now, I can tell you that those are extremely dangerous. If you pick one of them up or light it and you got it in your hand, not every time this is going to happen, but sometimes it is. Because that's got a little glued-in spot for the actual firework to shoot out the top of the cone. The whole bottom of the cone, that whole cone is not full of fireworks, just a small portion of it, about that much. If the cone's that tall, then about that much at the top has got actual fireworks. This part here is empty, and it's got a little cardboard uh, glued-in spot for them to pack in to make it, you know, whatever color they want it to be or how many different colors they want it to be, whatever the case may be. I do know that if you hold one of them in your hand, you have a 50-50 chance of it coming loose and falling on your hand. Because when you're young or old or middle-aged, whatever the case may be, and you're trying to make pretty colors sparkle in the air because you couldn't have the real good sparklers in your area and that's what you could buy. Okay, now you buy that and you take it home and you give it to your kid and you're not watching them. If they get burnt, it's your fault. You gotta be there to watch those kids. 
with their fireworks. And I don't care if they're 12, 14 years old, they need supervision, okay? They really do need supervision. You need to be there. Most of the time, parents are there. They've heard the wives, you know, all the tales about getting hurt, this, that, and another with fireworks. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, fireworks season is here upon us. We got four more days. On that fourth day of the fourth of this month, today is the first, but on the fourth day of this month, there's going to be a lot of fireworks fired off this year, and I mean a lot. And I just want everybody to be, I know that you're going to all be having a few drinks. Some are going to be drinking. Some are going to be just partying without the alcohol, but it doesn't matter. You still got kids that's going to be there around you watching fireworks, being around the fireworks. Stay away from the big mortar shots. Um, go somewhere that's got, if you want the big, big, big stuff that Class A and Class B fireworks that is illegal for most of the country. Uh, the only thing that's legal is Class C. But the Class A and the Class B is the ones where want to go up in the sky and it goes up. 40, 50 feet or 200 feet and when it blows it still shakes the ground now that's a bad boy right there it's set off electronically too so when they got them packed up they don't blow up like they used to a long time ago used to be they'd have them on a, a barge and they still do here they put them on a barge and they set it all up and then they set it off with triggers Oh, back in the day, they used to set it off downtown on land. And um, there have been some, several people gotten hurt doing the fireworks situation. And these were fire marshals that was doing it, okay? They were licensed to be doing it, and they, they got hurt. The reason why I'm telling you this about the fireworks is I want you to be extremely careful, folks. Extremely careful. Don't let no five-year-old kid be setting off no fireworks. Not by themselves. Okay? Just don't do it. I mean, if you're standing next to them and, you know, you know when to get the heck out of Dodge and get gone, and you know where they, you, you're showing them the right place to light the fuse and, 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 you know, all of those good things. Okay? It's a good time to spend with your kids and show them and teach them, yes. But for them to be able to do that by themselves at that age, that's just too young. 12 and 13 years old, and maybe lighten a little bit more, but be extremely careful. Make sure they know where to light it, because some of them got fuses on the bottom. Some of them's got fuses on the top. Uh, some of the fuses that are on the bottom, I've seen people unwrap the wrapping just to get to the fuse because the fuse might have got wet. That's dangerous. That's just dangerous. Uh, you can get away with that uh, if you do it right. But if you don't do it right and you light the wrong thing when you're standing right over the top of it and it does take it and it's not wet in the spot where you're lighting it, you could do some damage to yourself. So I'm be doing that. Follow the instructions. Put it on the ground. Roman candles say put on the ground. They do not say aim it at your friend and shoot it. They don't say that. Because they know that that'll get somebody hurt. Not the person you're shooting at that generally. It's generally when that dab blasted thing burns up in your hand. That's when it that's when it's real dangerous, when they burn up into your hand. Occasionally, you'll have one that'll blow up out of the side. So it's good to have what you're doing facing away from you and having it facing, uh, so if it does blow, like I had one blow up and it was a mortar shot, 
was a cannon with five shots in it. And it blowed out the side. Instead of going up the top, out the top and going in the air, it shot off at an angle and hit me. And it hurt. It put a real good bruise on me. It didn't burn me. Thank God it didn't burn me too. Because I had one hell of a bruise on my leg. It hit me. It hit me. It left a bruise about that big. And it was about that far from between my legs. Y'all know what I mean, guys? If it had hit me there, it would have probably put me in the hospital. In fact, I know it would have. Because the bruise that it left. I would have had some damage. You you can just bet on it. I would have had some damage. So, you guys be careful, okay? Y'all be careful out there with your fireworks and have a good time. I want you to have a great time. Just be careful. Don't get too drunk or too happy, whichever you want to call it. Don't get too happy and forget you got kids that's wanting to see fireworks at dark and for as long as they last okay a kid a kid loves fire most kids love fireworks now your little little ones they don't like it at first because of the noises this that and another but older they get uh, the more they like them okay so be responsible folks uh, drink and have a great time don't drive. Stay at home uh, for your, you know, do your little partying. Um, be home. Don't go out after dark. It's not a good idea. Um, if you're going to go watch the fireworks, go and watch them. Get in your car and drive straight home. Don't be lallygagging around out nowhere and uh, wishing yourself some ill findings well something happens at night and you know if you're out at daylight most of the time you're okay but if you go out after dark and you wander around you're just asking for trouble and I'm being and as much thing as many things that are going on right now you need to have your ass on. Be safe. Be safe. Don't be sorry. You don't want to get yourself into something you can't get out of. You know what I mean? It's just not a good idea. There's too many crazy ass people out there that think that the color of their skin uh makes them privileged to think that they have a certain race that they don't have. I know we're talking about it again, but hey, I'm being honest. These people that are talking about race don't know what they're talking about. There is no race. All of those people, just different colors of skin. They're not a race anymore. They're too mixed up. They're too much mixed up white people. They, they don't have their own race anymore. German. Italians. Nobody has their own race anymore. You got, hey, what about all the white people? Or I'm going to say this, but I don't mean this. What about all the white people that live in Africa? Are they white people too? I mean, black people too? So Africa's just made up of black people. No, never has been. Australia started out as a prison with all kinds of people. All kinds. And it ain't changed. It ain't gonna. None of this is gonna change. People, get your heads out of your ass. All you ones that are out there that's trying to save this country, get your head out of your ass because there ain't none of you one race. You either got German or Italian or uh, Indian or Arab, 
it, it doesn't matter where you came from, okay? You're just in the human race, all of you. There is no race, the human race, but not thoroughbred race anymore. There is no such thing. You can scream up and down all you want to that you're thoroughbred black and you're a black man or black, whatever you want to call yourself. I don't care. You Look, half of you are mixed up with white people that are mixed up with hundreds of other people, including black people. So why are y'all doing this? Do you think you're going to win something? in the long run all you doing is giving yourself I'm going to be honest all you doing to yourself and to everybody else just like the first war the civil war happened all it did was enslave everybody not the people that couldn't speak English not just those people but everybody else slaves come from people that couldn't speak the language that was still in the people. You understand? If they couldn't speak their language, they treated them as slaves. That's just like everything. If y'all can't wipe your ass the same, you got a problem with it. If you can't burp your child the same way that lady over there burped her child. There's something wrong with it. Um, if your kid's got a runny nose and theirs don't, there's something wrong with that. Uh, if my kid wears a seatbelt and yours don't, there's something wrong with that. And there is something wrong with it. Seatbelts, there's something wrong with it. It all started because of something I just said. Someone's little child got killed in a vehicle without a seatbelt on or was out at prom night and they got killed because they were doing something that a kid shouldn't be doing at all. Speeding, racing, drinking, or all three. And they got killed. It was their time to die, folks. If they didn't, then there you go. They didn't. So it's one of those things. So, you know, guys, it's all up to y'all whether y'all want to be in the human race or you want to be a racist pig at some race that is not even your race to start with. You may think you are part of a race when you never was and never will be. You're not from that race. You just think you are. Just straight facts. So, y'all keep crucifying people and going around shooting people because you think that you should be like that. And listen to the mainstream media crying whine about all of this other stuff with the rainbows and dressing and drag, man. Really? Huh. You know, for every trick is, you know, for a person that wants to be whatever they want to be. I, I don't care what you want to be. If you want to go into Walmart and wear your tea backs and you want to walk around in the Walmart and they don't put you in jail, then that's your business. Uh, you know, but, you know, there's people that don't want to see that. Some of you people that do that are come grossy-ass people. I mean, I can understand in certain countries, this, that, and other, and that's where these people are coming from. I don't know, but that's gross. Some stuff, the stuff that I've seen and they call it the Walmart photos. Man, them are some screwed up folks. They're screwed up. You know, I have a certain route of clothes that I might wear and I might not look the best in them. But at least my ass is covered. You know what I mean? Um, I'm old and I ain't nothing pretty to look at. And I don't want you looking at me. That's just 
No, I just don't. But anyway, it's a spam call. So, I'm hoping it's still recording. I know it did last time. So, you know, I'm hoping that everybody understands that life is crazy. Y'all heard that. That's something else that's annoying as hell, ain't it? It actually told me on my phone that it was spam. Now, I've blocked all spam on my phone. But I constantly get the phone calls. How? Better yet, why? I do, though. Oh, hell, this so much here. Spam, and they left me a message. Oh, shit, they're going to leave me, too. They're doing it again. What a wonderful person. Must be somebody that's listened to my video or going to listen to my video or knows who I am, whatever the case may be. It is what it is, folks. But anyway, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit today. I probably won't be able to get back in here before the 4th of July. I am planning on or trying to. Uh, I got a camera set up in two locations for the live stream. And I'm going to have it blown up. No earthquake 3D. But for that night, I'm going to have it blown up so y'all can see the clouds, the rain, for one, because it's not stopped raining here yet. We're supposed to be getting a tropical storm or hurricane or something. It's a named storm. It's supposed to come in. I'm still looking at it to make a hard right turn and go out to sea, but that's just me. I'm generally right, but this one here I hadn't paid a whole lot of attention to, so I'm not going to give you no information on other than to say what I've seen happen many, many other times. I don't even know where the storm's supposed to hit at the moment. I've been busy. Um, so, I've been doing a little work around the house, and doing things, trying to get things all cleaned up a little bit. But anyway. It's hard to do that with all this damn rain we've been getting. We, we, it has rained this whole month. It ain't missed a day. It might have missed a couple hours, but it's rained just about every damn day. The ones of you that have been watching my live stream, you know that. It's been raining every day. I mean, it's not raining right at this particular moment, but it was raining, and it was raining hard. I am tired of rain. I really am tired of rain. But we got it. <sighs> Damn. But anyway, folks, I just wanted to say hi, hello. Hope everybody's doing fine. I really do. And tell everybody much love. Be extremely careful. The fourth is coming. Be extremely, extremely, extremely careful. Okay? Just make sure that you stay safe. Keep your kids safe. They need you to keep them safe because a kid will do the damnedest things and get hurt and not intentionally they just do it and get hurt so much love and from my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it abolish corporate greed y'all know who the, cre the, the greedy sons of bitches are some of them need to disappear. But hey. It is what it is. So much love. Y'all have a wonderful day. Great a great holiday. Much love. Y'all have a good day now you here. One more time. From my cold dead hands in a damn one minute. Abolish corporate greed. Much love. <laughs>